tens of thousands of children are school striking for the climate on the streets of Brussels. Hundreds of thousands are doing the same all over the world. People always tell us that they are hopeful that the young people are going to save the world. But we are not. There is simply not enough time to wait for us to grow up and become the ones in charge. We know that most politicians don't want to talk to us. Good. We don't want to talk to them either. <laughs> we want them to talk to the scientists instead. Listen to them. Because we are just repeating what they are saying and have been saying for decades. We want you to follow the Paris Agreement and the IPCC report. We don't have any other manifests or demands. When many politicians talk about the school strike for the climate, they talk about almost anything except from the climate crisis. They make up all sorts of conspiracies and call us puppets who cannot think for ourselves. They are desperately trying to, ch to remove the focus from the climate crisis and change the subject. They don't want to talk about it because they know they haven't done their homework. But we have. Once you have done your homework, you realize that we need new politics. We need new economics, but that is not enough. We need a whole new way of thinking. The political system that you have created is all about competition. You cheat when you can because all that matters is to win, to get power. That must come to an end. We must stop competing with each other. We need to cooperate and work together and to share the resources of the planet in a fair way. Because if we fail to do so, all that will remain of our political leaders' legacy will be the greatest failure of human history. And they will be remembered as the greatest villains of all time because they have chosen not to listen and not to act. Saying everything will be all right while continue doing nothing at all is just not hopeful to us. In fact, it's the opposite of hope. And yet, this is exactly what you keep doing. You can't just sit around waiting for hope to come. Then you're acting like spoiled, irresponsible children. You don't seem to understand that hope is something you have to earn. And if you still say that we are wasting valuable lesson time, then let me remind you that our political leaders have wasted decades through denial and inaction. And since our time is running out, we have decided to take action. We have started to clean up your mess, and we will not stop until we are done. Thank you.